Okay, so in today's videos, I'll be going through the most common genetic disorders. I'll start with, I'll try to pronounce this properly, phenylketonuria. Um, I've never heard it pronounced that way, so let's call it PKU. So we'll mostly hear about it. So what this is, is uh, PKU is, is a condition where a particular amino acid, phenylalanine, um, is unable to be digested by the uh, unable to be digested. So what happens is people who are affected by PKU need a very special diet or else this, this uh, amino acid builds up, builds up in their system and over time it could lead to very negative, uh, quite serious mental uh, issues. Um, I don't know why the name of that. Just right, uh, then cystic fibrosis, which in my opinion is uh, probably the most tragic of them all. Uh, and it's a very, it's the most common genetic disorder in Caucasians. So uh, what happens is uh, immune cells start recognizing, if you're a bit familiar with uh, neurons, the myelin sheet on neurons and uh, start attacking those. So your immune sy system recognizes your own cells as, as enemies and starts uh, attacking those. So, I mean, that's it's not a good thing, as you might imagine. Um, and the symptoms of that are especially going to be a buildup of, uh, of fluid in the lungs, which is, is not something very good, I'm going to get this arrow. Um, then again, then, uh, Tay-Sachs, Tay-Sachs disease. Um, so this is mostly, I mean, not only, but mostly a very early disease. So we're talking four years old or something like that. It, it's almost always a fatal disease as well, fatal genetic disorder, no disease. Um, so it's caused by a by a lack of the um, by lacking an enzyme that's necessary for breaking down fats, lipids. So uh, there you go. Huntington's. Huntington's. So uh, quite a serious disease as well, but this is a disease that happens mostly uh, early in life. So we're talking, uh, the symptoms are going to be uh, start being noticeable around the 40 years old or slightly younger than that. But uh, things are getting quite rapidly. So we're talking uh, mostly lack of, uh, of coordination and eventually uh, mental disorders and uh, progresses even worse for you there. It, this is well, I think that this is well, almost always fatal. Then, I'm going to, these are, uh, these last two are not nearly as serious as uh, the fourth four here, but they're very important to remember, especially if you're going to be tested on this. So, a hemophilia and color blindness. color blindness. The reason I'm putting these together is because they are sex linked. If you want more details on that, I really recommend Sal's videos on uh, sex linked inheritance. Uh, they're not at all related though, apart from that. So a hemophilia, so hemophilia is a disease where uh, it's sex links are recessive, and it's caused by the, the absence of proteins that help in uh, in normal blood clotting. So, so apart from that, it's just you have to be pay very attention, and, um, get medical care, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Color blindness is even less of a deal. We we don't when we think about color blindness, we typically think of someone who sees in in, in a black and white type of thing. I mean, that does exist, but color blindness, especially red green color, color blindness, red green color blindness, is, is very, very permanent uh, because it's sex linked in males. So we're talking about roughly 5% of the population has some sort of color blindness. I looked this up before, which I mean is, a lot, is a big, is enormous. You might have it and you might not even know, right? Um, but I don't care.
red green <laughs> wow that's horrible uh, red green color blindness so it's a very common common genetic disorder especially in males okay um, so everything we've seen here are, are, uh, are disorders on the gene level. So you can sort of track down all these diseases and find the particular gene that caused this disease. And uh, yeah. We'll talk about two other diseases, or the disorders, I'm sorry, genetic disorders, which are chromosomal. Chromosomal diseases and disorders. So the, the main two is uh, Down syndrome. So when I say chromosomal diseases, I mean these diseases affect your chromosomes affect the larger uh, sort of the larger scale at your chromosome scale as opposed to your genetic uh, scale so there's genetic disorders and chromosomal disorders uh, down syndrome it's probably easier to remember as down syndrome as trisomy 21 which is sort of a more uh, scientific name for it uh, trisomy being three chromosome I don't know about the somi part, but three clearly meaning three chromosomes. So in this particular case, you'd, you'd have um, the 21st chromosome would be present three times. And I'm sure you've, uh, you've, you've seen or you, you've heard about patients, that are people that were affected by Down syndrome, kind of had an idea of uh, what it causes, so characteristic facial features, mental problems and uh, much more prone to developing other disorders as well. So I mean this is uh, this is really not something that's uh, it's nice to have. Most of these things aren't but particularly down syndrome. So yeah exactly think of it as trisomy 21. Um, then we'll go into Clin now or Clin filters syndrome. So it's kind of the same concept as trisomy 21, but except, except um, so, well, first of all, Clint filters only happens with males, in the case of males. And you'll see why in a second. Um, normally males have an X and a Y chromosome. Um, so the Y being donated by the father and the X being donated by the mother. In the case, case of Clint Felters, uh, a person has XXY. So sort of have, has trisomy, but on these uh, on the X and Y chromosome. Um, so yeah, exactly. So what, what this is what this is going to cause is is uh, a patient still going to have male genitals, but much smaller testes, especially very small, and uh, men are sterile. Not specifically related to the, uh, the case of, of um, Clint Felters, but in general, a lot of these disorders or genetic disorders cause the, the person being sterile, and that's kind of interesting on a, an evolutionary way of thinking about it. It's sort of the body realizing that that person has something that's not normal, especially when the, the uh, the soils are more serious and kind of blocking itself itself down to making sure that that gene doesn't get passed on for the survival of the uh, of the species in general which is something that's really interesting and and to be thought about so there you go I hope that helps and it's a great a good review of uh, genetic disorders